Who is starting to recognize how powerful these abilities would be in your own life? Amazing. I'm going to talk more about that shortly. Louis, how can we help? What, is it? what are we doing? <laughs> We're doing business. We're doing business. We're I'm, in business together. Let's business. do business. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting a business, so I'm a health coach. You're a health coach. Oh, yeah. I love it. Aren't you in the right room? <laughs> yes. Whoa. <that's> right. <laughs> Take over the world with this stuff. And I love it, but just something is holding me back. And you. I just don't know what's in me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> i got to get out of my way. something I can't I quite <laughs> put my finger on it. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> I know I can help people, but something is just stopping me from, I don't know. And I don't know if it's finance or, oh. or what, something. <laughs> Would you like help? Yes, please. Okay, if people don't pay me, it's okay and I can like you. How is that okay? Accepting, accepting money, I don't know. What is that? If people don't pay business. me, it's okay. I can, I can. I... Does anyone else have that belief? <laughs> if pe you do, don't you? Oh my God, it's a really, it's an epidemic in the spiritual alternative world. Um, Somehow <laughs> the ego got in there and convinced everyone that you should give everything spiritual away for free. It's the most, I've never seen more broke people in any other community <laughs> because of that one belief. It should all be free. Oh my God, what a doozy the ego's done on that one. Yeah. But all the movie stars, all the sports stars, they should earn millions of dollars for playing sport, but you who are changing people's lives should be broke. <laughs> what? I've even heard of people getting paid to have sex in movies but they're allowed to make money, but you, changing lives, not allowed to make any money. Oh my goodness, it's time to clear that one. Cool. You work on that one, young lady. So, you're wondering what is holding you back about moving forward in this business? Yeah, yeah, just breaking, breaking through, I guess. I, like. I, I, I need you to be really specific. I'm just, we, we're going to get to the core. I need you to tell me what, what are you experiencing? You just, where are you at? Where are you not at? Um, I guess income. In so you're not like, earning any income. I'm earning a little bit of income. You, you haven't broken through. Not. Okay, great. Okay. It's very <laughs> clear to me. Very clear. All right, so her subconscious mind is showing me very clearly, it's almost like a, um, a graph. If you had a graph, you drew this line, and it's saying, I will earn proportionately to how much I'm able to give based on how great I've become. Can you get that? It's like, that belief we spoke about earlier, who am I to change lives when my life is a shambles? There's a slightly different belief with you. It's got a little twist to it. Until I've got everything together, my whole act together, then I can only charge a little bit. Yeah. The more I get my act together, the more I can charge. And I don't want to let in too many clients yet because God forbid too many people see that I don't have my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> let me embarrass myself one person at a time. <laughs> Controlled embarrassment. <laughs> I like it. However, doesn't necessarily pay all the bills, does it? No. No. So we need to get past that. So you get to see that we actually block or put a kink in the opportunities that are coming in. She's actually got this huge wall going, hold back the masses, I'm not ready for you. <laughs> right? That's what she's doing. I feel that. <laughs> good, good, you're aware of it. Yes, good, I good, am. very good. Step number one. Many of you are doing that. I'm not ready, I can only do something for free because my time's not worth money and all that stuff. So let's bring some truth. Well, actually, let's see if you're ready for truth. I don't quite feel like you are. Because you like to do things at your own pace, nice and managed, let's do that. So let's look at what's going on there. What is the truth that Louise needs to know 
How are you ever to grow when you're holding back those that are going to give you the life lessons for you to grow? Mm, that's so true. It is. <laughs> I do speak truth, don't I? It's true. I do. That's her truth. That's the first thing you need to realize. Like, I'm going to wait until I learn everything I need to know, but I'm, I'm stopping. It's kind of like each person that comes in as a client. It looks like a textbook, right? Yeah. Imagine each person is a textbook. And every time somebody comes to you, they show you a new lesson. Yeah. But you're going, I'm going to wait till I learn everything. Let's hold back the textbooks. <laughs> That's just not ready for you, textbooks. I'm going to, right? So this growth that you're wanting to have within yourself can only happen when you open up the floodgates. So how do I open those? <laughs> well, hang on. Can we just let that one in? There's another thing going on. You may have picked it up. It was very, very subtle. She believes she needs to be in a hurry. There's another little mind lie there that if I don't... Now, it's, it's interesting. There's always one mind lie underpinning another mind lie and so on. And the belief under there that she needs to, so I need to hurry is a mind lie, okay? Then underneath that is if I don't hurry, I'll miss out on what's available. Somebody else will steal all my clients. I'll become old hat. <laughs> I need to hurry. But it's so funny. I'm going to stop all my clients from coming, but I need to hurry. Otherwise, I'm going to miss out on all my clients. <laughs> and you wonder what's holding you back. <laughs> well, these, exactly. All these vicious cycles just... You don't need to hurry. Let's get that in. Because if you hurry, you won't get the lessons from each person. You'll be next, 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 next. But each person that comes in that you're helping is this wealth of awareness that's going to flick the light switches on. And if you're in a state of hurrying, you will miss that entire degree of learning. So important to be present. And it sounds so cliche in today's terms, but it's just... The wealth of experience, the depth of experience that becomes available when you slow down is just priceless. Each person can really be in that space. Okay. So the next level of truth we're going to go to with you, you need to realize that you will attract in those that are a perfect match to where you're at. Yeah? Yeah. So waiting until you learn everything that there is to know about health and fitness and nutrition and medicine and everything there is that you think you need to know, mm. you'll probably be about 150 before you could see your first client, <laughs> which you couldn't get to anyway because you need to see all the clients to get there. Mm -hmm. So in order to open those floodgates, realize that there is a plethora of people that will benefit from where you're at now. Like 80% of this room I'm feeling would benefit from some of your wisdom and your guidance that you already know now. If you didn't add anything else. Can you get that? Yeah, yeah. 80% 80, 80 of people in this room, that's a pretty chunky client base. <laughs> Isn't it? Like how many people do you really need? <laughs> that would be enough. And that's just in this room. What about, where do you live? Uh, Noosa? Perugian Beach. Perugian Beach. Whole of Sunshine Coast. Right, Perugian, Noosa, everything. So who you are today is more than enough to keep you well-funded. Just let that in. You don't need to know anything. I'm feeling you don't need to know anything new for at least a whole other year. And then when you do know more, you'll attract a different caliber of people. And you'll, by that point, allow in more. Can you let that in? But let's go a little bit deeper. The truth that Louise really needs to know is that she knows enough for her own health and well-being. That's what she's resisting, and it's being reflected in other people. The mind says, no, you don't feel you've got enough for other people. But it's not that. That's just how she's holding back her business. But how she's holding herself back 
which is ultimately governing everything else, is the belief that she doesn't actually feel, it doesn't actually feel educated enough. You still think there's bits missing, there's gaps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what's the truth with that? That's why you're here on this planet, to learn. You are going to have a life of learning. That's just what it is. You don't need to know any more than you know right now. And when you do need to know more, it will be at the very time that it more is given to you. You know everything you need to Are you alive? Can I check your pulse? <laughs> it's pretty good. Doesn't look too ill. You healthy? Yes. <laughs> You're smiling. She's healthy. Look how bright her eyes are, how bright her smile is. Yeah. You have everything you need right now. Look, if you were on the ground and you were just a puddle on the ground in a fetal position, I'd say, yeah, you probably need a little bit more education to get your own health there, but you're doing pretty well. Yes. Can you get all that? She's resisting. She needs to mull it over. She has a belief. It's a, I need to process things. Don't you? I need to process things. You go and process things. And we'll see you a bit later on. Okay. Okay? Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>